So it was very hard to find this because, you know, the media and Google are going to hide the truth about, you know, Loki's first reading numbers. I looked up Loki's season 2 ratings and there was, there was nothing to talk about the season 2 debuting far lower than season 1. <clears throat> but we know the MCU is dead. Okay, the MCU is dead. Okay, this is the first season 2 to an MCU show and has dropped 49%. Okay, you know, usually if a show is well beloved, like, you know, the critics will claim Loki was, well, you'll think there'll be an increase. You'll think that people like, oh, you know, they'll tell P, you know, because of word of mouth, you know, the audience will go between season one and season two. Because people were like, man, this show was pretty good. Okay, tell all my friends, tell their friends, tell their friends, and, you know, that's how, you know, it works. That's how sometimes, some usually movie sequels, you know, it's either to do, usually do Far Wars to the first. But if something is as critically acclaimed as Loki, you would think that, you know, people would return for a second season. But 49% of the audience has left Loki. 49% of the audience has left Loki. Okay? Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be days of season 2, it's still counting as a tire from year week. As well. And Nielsen counts the whole week. Okay. It counts the whole week. Okay. It's doing 49%. It's doing worse. Than the first one. It's doing worse than the first season. Okay. Marvel has truly fallen off. You have a Marvel movie coming out next week. And that movie is projected to open to 45 million. The lowest ever in the MCU history. Okay. It really shows you that Marvel is dead. No, no, no amount of. Sims can save Marvel. And that's it about this video here. Goodbye.